In today's video, we're gonna talk about Alt-Tab's latest add-on called Pixel, which can be considered a cheat code for pixel art. So I'll be putting that claim to test by going through some of the features and functionalities that this add-on has to offer, in addition to how we can use it to produce pixel art. First of all, the add-ons and panel is divided into four sections, which are Setup, Camera, Material, and Outline. In the Setup section, we can find the Setup Project button that will set up your Blender project's render settings to low resolution, enable freestyle, and set the color view transform to standard so that it can start rendering pixel arts. It also adds a new collection named No Outline, and as the name suggests, it will keep the objects that you don't want the outline to be applied to. There is also a transparent toggle to enable a transparent background easily, which is very useful for example when you are creating game assets and sprites that you're gonna use later in your game engine. In the Pixel Camera section, you can add and switch between isometric camera presets, giving you four view angles, and it automatically sets the scene camera to the selected one. In addition to the camera presets, you can also add your own camera using the dedicated button. Below the camera creation buttons, you have camera controls directly accessible in the Anons panel for quick adjustments. Jumping to the material section, you will first need to click the Use Pixel Material button with an object selected to set it to a tune shader which reacts to different lighting elements of Blender. Something to note is that the add works best with EV, as the Toon Shader is based on the EV render engine. You can select the light color of the material as well, as the shadow and the outline colors. And if you are working with an image texture, you can import it using the Use Image Texture button, which will give you the option to adjust it with an inverse slider or the ability to stop using the image texture and come back to the basic Toon Shader. You also have buttons to set the shade to smooth or flat, in addition to the three lighting threshold that controls the amount of lighting and shadow that will change the color ramp position values. In the edit mode, you can assign as many pixel materials as possible, just by selecting the face and clicking the assign new pixel material button. Something you need to know about that is that for the moment, you can't rename objects after applying pixel materials as it will break the material assigning process. So it is better to rename your objects beforehand, I mean before applying the Toon Shader materials. Also avoid renaming pixel materials, elsewhere you won't be able to make changes in the M panel. In the outline settings, you can set the outline thickness as well as a bunch of toggle parameters for changing the edge type for a unique and specific outline look. For example, you can set outlines on material boundaries or let them delimit ridges and valleys or choose outline silhouettes only, etc. After playing around with the add-on and experimenting with the new style using it, I got really nice results in no time. I could have have thought that creating pixel arts from 3D can be that easy and straightforward. This add-on makes creating pixel arts much more easier by regrouping all the required settings and operators in one place. If you have a pixel art project, this tool can be easily the go-to add-on to use in Blender to speed up your workflow. If you are interested in Pixel add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.